Hello and welcome to another Primavera P6 lesson by Global Project Control. In this lesson, we want to talk about how you can update the activity sheet in the project. Well, let me to split the screen. This is the project 2 and as you see, this is the fresh project for update. But right now, I want to update this project based on this information. What kind of information I have over here? I have some activity percent complete and actual start and actual finish over here. So right now I want to process the update. I need to go to the file, export from a spreadsheet, go to the activity section and over here by export, need to select the activity import. You can rename your template based on your requirement. Then you need to find that activity ID, status, WBS code, activity name, on the date we need actual start and actual finish. If you want to update the duration, you need original duration and remaining duration. For progress in activity section, you need to add the activity percent complete. And for better understanding the P6 date format, you need to add finish and start. So these are minimum requirement for you in order to update these items. Also, because we have some milestone at the project, it is better to add activity type for this updating item. Then we don't need any filtration or sort, we can proceed. We need to save a copy of this Excel file from here. And save the file over here. Let me to open the file. And split the screen. As you see, all the activities are not started. I always start the updating by update the activity percent complete. So I'm going to use VLOOKUP for activity percent complete. On this table, you can perform the VLOOKUP based on the activity ID because the activity ID is the unique value and you need perform the VLOOKUP by unique value. Then you will reach to the good result. This is the result for this VLOOKUP. You need to change it to the percentage and mark it because activity percent complete should be imported to the Primavera P6 by number format. If you import it by percentage format, the result will be different. The next action is change the duration from text to the number. You need to change the format. Then add a free spans over here for better movement at the file. 
The next action is add data filtration. After I added the data filtration, I need to go to the percent complete, filter, the in progress, and completed task. Then you need to write a VLOOKUP to find the actual start and actual finish. I'm going to write VLOOKUP, it's column number 18, for actual start. And if I only filter the 100% task, I can perform the VLOOKUP in order to find activity with finish date over here. But as I told you, we have some finish milestone in our list. So we should not record the finish milestone for these items. Then we need to come back to the percent complete. We have 100% complete. So activity status for 100% complete activity is completed. We need to select completed for this task. Then update the activity status. Then remaining duration for completed task is zero. I need to update it to the zero. Then come back to the activity percent complete and select in progress activities. Over here, activity status should be changed to the in progress. Then we need to recalculate the remaining duration for these activities. Remaining duration is equal to original duration multiplied to 1 minus 2 progress. This is the remaining duration calculation. But as you see, we face it with some decimals at remaining duration. It is not correct. So we should add round formula over here. We need to add round with zero decimals. And as a result of this change, you can find no decimals over here. But be careful if you have some progress, for instance, 90%. Then, after remaining duration calculation, you face it with some zero value for in progress activity over here. What is the solution? You should change the round to the round up. Then it will be changed and you solve it. Right now, because my progress is less than 90, I don't have any problem for this. Unbelievable. The updating item are finished. You only need to change the activity percent complete from percentage to the number, then you need to import it. I need to multiply this progress to the 100 and then Copy this information and paste it as a value over here and change it from percentage to the number. Then you need to select all the fields, copy, paste it as a value and remove the filtration, remove the free spans, save the file and proceed for import.
import the value by a spreadsheet you should proceed for activity section over here you need to select how um, what is the project because maybe more than one project is already open and you need to wait for the result by software the import was successful the result is unbelievable you can update the project instantly all you need is to schedule the project and shift the data date according to your cutoff date let me to schedule the project to the cutoff date you can find all the tasks updated based on your activity sheet I hope this lesson is useful for you. Thank you for watching Global Project Control. I hope this lesson is useful for you. Please keep in touch with my LinkedIn, YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook for further lesson. Also, you can visit my website www globalprojectcontrol.com in order to find all of my lesson and courses in the same time. Thank you for your subscription at my YouTube channel.